All right, welcome back YouTube to another episode of Crypto Miner Tips. And in today's tip, we're gonna be talking about hash rate. And so I'm gonna be showing you guys how hash rate is calculated, how you can determine what your hash rate is for your hardware. And so that way you can properly use a mining calculator to project you know, profitability and things like that. So, you know, I'm gonna make this video short, sweet, and to the point. So let's just get right to it and let's get started. Run the intro. <laughs> Welcome back to the Crypto Miner Tips YouTube channel. In today's tip, I wanted to talk to you guys about how to calculate your hash rate. And so it's kind of important that you understand this because this will be what allows you to determine what are the best coins to mine for the hardware that you're using. Also, too, it'll give you insight into what your daily projected profits would be if you decided to mine cryptocurrency with that hardware. So this is kind of important to know, and I see a lot of people that kind of get confused when they're new to mining. They don't understand what hash rate is. And I created this blog article. There's going to be a link down in the description below to this. So if you wanted to check that out, you can read it. But basically, I also have another blog article about what hash rate is. And just to kind of read the definition, you know, hash rate is a unit of measure to determine the speed in which a computer's chip chipset can mine cryptocurrency. There's lots of different hardware out there that you can buy for the purpose of mining cryptocurrencies. And each piece of hardware is going to have different hash rates. So if you got a 1060 graphics card, that's going to have a totally different hash rate than a 1080 ti also too though it really varies depending on the coin that you want to mine so if you're mining ethereum with a 1060 the hash rate that you have with that is going to be totally different than if you decide to take that same 1060 and mine say a coin like raven coin or something like that so it, it varies all across the board the other thing is is that hash rate gets measured in a couple different formats so the most popular version is hashes or mega hashes. Most of the coins you, that you mine out there are going to be measured in, in hashes per second, mega hashes, kilo hashes per second. The other option is souls. So coins that, you know, use like the echo hash algorithm, like Z classic, I think beam coins like that, they get measured in souls instead of hash rate. The third type is for coins like grin. If you go to mine grin coin, it does not get measured in hash rate. It gets measured in graphs per second. So it seems kind of confusing, but there's just different formats, but they all relatively mean the same thing. But the cool thing is, is if you know what your hash rate is, or if you don't know, um, there's a couple ways that you can go about. First step is, is if, if you know what hardware you have, you can actually just head over to a site like what to mine, click the hardware that you have. Now I know that I have a 1080 Ti in this computer here. so. I got one, so I've just put in the quantity. You could also set your electric rate. So if you know that you get a 12 cent electric rate, you could set that in there and then you can hit calculate and it's gonna give you all the benchmarks. So it's stating, according to what to mine, it's stating that you know my 1080 Ti can mine Ethereum at about 45 mega hashes per second. And then Z hash, it says 86 hashes per second. And then it also gives you the wattage too. Now keep in mind, these are just benchmarks from people all around the globe that report it to what to mine and they update it in their database. So it's not exactly accurate. Also, once you know what your hash rate is, you can find out what's the most profitable coin to mine. So based on my 1080 Ti here, it's what to mine is stating that this Mimble Wimble coin is the most profitable, profitable coin to mine right now. So they're stating at a 10 cent electric rate that I would mine and be about 41 cents a day into profit. So that's why it's kind of important to understand what your hash rate is so that way you can use calculators like this and get a really good overall idea on um, what are the best coins to mine for, for the hardware that you have. Now you might be asking, you know, is there a way to get the exact hash rate of your card? And there is a way that you can do it. The, the, the most simple way that I know how to do it is just to download the mining software and run it and see what your numbers turn out to be. So for example, if I was to mine Ethereum right now with this 1080 Ti, now keep in mind what to mine is stating that this card will mine at about 45 mega hashes per second at 180 watts. So let's see right here. So let's go ahead, fire the miner up, pull this over here. This is gonna give it, it's gonna take a few minutes for it to fire up, kind of do its thing. Okay, so you can see right here my 1080 Ti does not actually mine Ethereum at the moment at 45 mega hashes and 180 watts. As you can see right here, it says power consumption, 177 watts. 
and I'm only mining at 29 mega hash or yeah 29 mega hashes per second so what I could do is I could enter that in there 29 mega hashes per second 177 watts hit calculate and then if I scroll down here to ethereum where is it at it's not even on the chart there it is it's saying that at that hash rate, I would actually lose money. I would be at about a penny deficit a day. So based on the hardware though, like I said, you know, I probably wouldn't mine Ethereum with the 1080 Ti right now. I would actually probably mine something like Zcoin, but I just wanted to give you the overall idea of how that works. The other way that you can use hash rate, let's say that you were looking to buy a Bitcoin ASIC miner, like an S19 or something like that. So we could head over to Bitmain, find the uh, S19, uh, 110. This is going to be the 110 terahash. And we can go to overview and we can get the stats right here. So this right here, it says 110 ter uh, terahashes and power on the wall is 32, 3,250 watts. So I can head over to a site like Crypto Compare here. So 3,250, 110 watts on a 10 cent electric rate. I'd actually lose money. Now, keep in mind that's because the Bitcoin halving just happened. So that's really it for how to calculate your hash rate. You know, I hope that gives you guys a really good idea of, you know, a better, actually a better understanding of how to calculate it and how it works. So, you know, when people ask me, what's the hash rate of this? What's the hash rate of that? What's the best coin to mine? Chances are, all I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to what to mine, figure out what hardware you're using, select the hardware, hit calculate and it'll give you a really good idea of what the hash rate is but also too like i said once you know that you can determine what are the best coins for you to mine the other cool thing i wanted to show you about what to mine is they got this gpu tab over here so you can actually if you're looking to buy graphics cards you can kind of see what are the top graphics cards so right now on this list under the gpu tab it's showing that the nvidia geforce rtx 2080 ti revenue about 94 cents a day at a 10 cent electric rate so you can kind of go through here you know if you already got a card you can click on it and it'll show you you know what are the most profitable coins to mine so the one last thing that i wanted to let you guys know is we just got done revamping the main site and so we just created our first ever free ebook and it's a guide to get you into cryptocurrency mining so if you're brand new you don't understand how it all works and stuff like that and you want a free ebook Head on over to our main site, CryptoMinerTips.com. Again, I'm going to have a link in the description for this. Put your email in, and we're going to email you out our free ebook. It's um, right around 10 pages, and it's just going to have you all the good information that you're going to need to get started mining cryptocurrency. The other thing is, is if you haven't signed up for our private Facebook group, again, I'm going to have a link down in the description below for that. Join our private Facebook group where we actually answer a lot of the questions that new people have and stuff like that. It's a really great community. And you know, if you're brand new, this is a, a awesome platform to learn how to get started into cryptocurrency mining. Make sure that you sign up for that. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys haven't already, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.